you would twist such a beautiful thing as faith into something so vile. Ring out what measly credits and adoration you could from these poor people, all while besmirching the esteem of the Jedi Order. And you think that punishment would not find its way to your doorstep? Yet you claim we are the stupid ones. I will make sure you never hurt another soul again. This I vow, as a true Jedi. Mace Windu, to Drew's Mace Windu was devoted to the Jedi Order ever since his formative years as a Padawan learner. However, in his youth he struggled to temper the frustrations he harbored over the things that offended the ideals of the Jedi, which Windu held as sacred. While his feelings were not inherently wrong according to his mentor, Jedi Master Sislan Mir, she nonetheless believed that her apprentice needed to convert his hostility into a positive force. During their mission on Mathis, he regarded Druze's use of religion as offensive, having noticed how the false prophet took advantage of his followers' faith. Faith was a beautiful concept to a spiritual young man like Windu, and as such he could not tolerate the heretical actions of Druze. Windu, even as a youngling, never responded well to Yoda's humor, which became a reason the Grand Master kept making his jokes, enabling him to often tease the younger Jedi. Although he struggled to temper his animosity for heretics and con artists, Windu expressed empathy for other people, in particular the natives of Mathas who suffered from the effects of the Niffin Plague. He saw them as innocents, but was also stunned by their refusal to see Druze as a charlatan instead of a prophet. While in pursuit of Druze, who mocked Windu by insulting the esteem of the Jedi Order, the young Jedi almost took Druze's life, believing he deserved to be punished for using the Jedi's own belief system to prey on the people who expressed faith in the Force. 